So we finished chapter one. Everything's in place. The keel, rabbit strip. This is all shape. Next we go on to chapter two, which we start framing the bulkheads. 13 bulkheads. Each one needs to have, or the fore and aft ones need to be beveled quite a bit. So instructions here on how to bevel them. They're actually marked with a line on them for a bevel line for a starting point. And then once you get them glued in, ferret and glued in, they want you to put blocking between them. This blocking is not included with the kit. I went and just got some half inch square um, wood, cut it down to length going between the frames. So I'll be getting that going. Um, I've already started shaping the frames. Just been using my little carving tools here for it. And you can just get them on the board and just start carving away. And get them somewhat close to how you want them. And then once you get them close, you can start sanding them. <clears throat> Lay a board across. Make sure it flows nicely. So I have some work to do here, so it doesn't flow as nicely as it should there. But once you get that done, you can all fair it out, you can put the blocking in, and then you get this one deck in that goes right here. So I'll go ahead and continue on sanding and fairing, and get the frames in place, and be back. Okay, we're back where we have all my frames in place. I put some blocks in here to no, it slipped. I need to shave those down. Blocks in place here to shore them up. These ones out here just so I get stiffness on the edge. I don't have to be straight or anything like that. It's crooked. Don't even need to be on every one just to strengthen them up. And I started bearing down the hole. For that, I am just using what I find best is just a long dowel the slit in it to put the sandpaper in and wrap it around and that gives you a nice long so you just go right along the frame sand it down you do that to both sides start on this side but I decided that since these things are so fragile I've already broken one off and glued it back on that I'm going to go jump to one chapter to chapter three and start working on the sills the, the gun part sills and lentils which will strengthen up most of this through here but as you're fairing it through you're going to take one piece of wood and you're going to go through and you're going to see how it lays looking at it from the top see if it's hitting every frame so far i'm looking pretty good but i see i'm missing the second frame in but that's expected because i can see i need these two frames to be uh, these two frames to be sanded down more Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. I mean, if, to me, a cat's have a, a reputation for being perfect, really nice fits. If to me it would made wood kits, this would be a, to me a kit at this point in time. The way everything is fitting, frames fit beautifully. They're fairing nicely. They're all level. Every frame came down right where it should on this rabbit line. This one looks a little bit short, but it's actually not. But it's, it's looking really good. I'm really pleased with that. Stem fit on absolutely beautiful on this front curve. No sanding at all to make that thing fit tight in, onto the uh, rabbit strip. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll see about putting these frames in. The gun, the gun port sills and lintels on this side. To do that, and time to break out the templates. Glue them together for one, tape them together for one half, tape them together for the top, tape them together for the other half. So you have um, starboard side, overhead view of the deck, and then separate, and port side. I'll get those taped together, and I'll see about starting on these things the lintels and the sills. Woods here it's three sixteenths by a quarter and I'll fit on each cut to fit each one of these.
Okay, so I got my templates put together. The first thing I need to do, according to instructions, is on each one of these frames, there are three lines. Top of the whales, top of the sills, bottom of the lintels. I need to run one batten across where the top of the sills will be and make sure it's a nice smooth curve all the way along. Got some little brass nails to put it in with. So I'm going to get that done. And then I can put the, I need to trim the templates down so I can trim it right to the edge of the line. And get that in place and I can mark out where each one of these things are. Um, not sure I need to actually tape that in place. Once I have this line in place, I think I can put each cell in place. And then it's just worrying about where the top of the cell, or where the bottom of the lintel is. So I'm going to go ahead and get this batten in place so I can find where all these things are. I had time to look at the instructions a bit here in the templates. So, this curve is beautiful. This is the way it's marked out on the, the, the bulkheads. Went ahead and marked the face of the frames as well. I was say to tape this thing in place, but no need to do that. Curve looks good compared to this. This is a life size of what it should look like for all the gun ports. So you gotta take this piece and cut to, to go in there. But they do give you this overhead template as well with all the pieces right here. The dark lines. Which means you can take this sucker, mark it off, cut it out. Which over here is okay, but up in the bow, we got the angles, you can actually cut, mark it with your angles as well. So that'll be useful to make these pieces. So that'll give me lintels and sills on both sides. And from there, I can move on to doing the rest of the framing around the gun ports. Once that is done, all that framing, I can really come back and sand this to get a nice fair curve. Instructions do say that every time you put one layer in, sand it and fair it off. Next layer, sand it and fair it off. You start doing the verticals, same thing, sand it and fair it off on the inside and the outside. The inside I haven't done anything with yet because he's got to thin down a little bit, especially in the front where I got to shape him. But I can do that once I get the outside in. I can sit here with a dremel on the front and shape these things down to get the nice angle or a carving knife and go down. I got to need to measure these to see how thick they are compared to what they should be. The instructions tell you it's like eighth inch and three thirty seconds or something like that. Of what should be top and bottom. Um, as you go along, you're going to you're gonna sand them even thinner before you do the inside planking. But so far, so good. Like I said before, if Tamiya made wooden ship models, I think this would be it. The parts line up so nicely. Making progress. I've got the sills for the gun ports on the port side in place. The sand is pretty much flush with the frame. I need to do the lintels on this side. I also need to do the sills and lintels on this side. And then I can finish fairing off the frame. So far it's looking pretty good. Everything's fitting real nice. Each one of these has to be individually cut. And while while Shipways gives you this template for the lengths of them, ignore that and just cut them to fit based on the actual dimensions of the ship. Otherwise, you're going to end up with too short or too long, and you're either going to waste wood or you're just going to be just having to keep trimming to fit. So that gives me the outside shape here. Still need to go along the inside shape. It like this one here is really wide on that edge, and this one, and this one here. But that'll get all get fared out separately before doing the planking on the inside. Right now, I'm more concerned with the planking on the outside and making these things here stronger. So I'm kind of working concurrently with chapter two and chapter three to get the hole fared and the lintels and the gun ports in place. I did see that I have this one a little bit high, but I think in the grand scheme of things it's not going to matter. And this one here is there just to give some shape. There's no gun port here. There's a gun port here and a gun port here, but this has this is salt this will end up being solid right here. So I'll get to back to that I'll get 
sills and lintels on lintels on both sides and sills on this side done and be back. Well, this has been about uh, three or four days worth of work. I have the hull fared out. I have all my gun part frames in place to sand smooth on the outside. Still need to do them on the inside though, but that will come after I do some of the outside blinking. That way I can get in here with a Dremel and just start grinding away and get them close before we're doing the final sanding. Still need to put this deck in. There's a little deck right here that part of it can be seen through a hatch. Got all my wood cut out for it. I'll do some adjustments, make some shorter for the center section. But I'll do that as I go along. One of the things I need to do is go through and simulate the cock caulking lines. It's hard to say caulking lines. That would seal the deck. One way to do that is you can go through and just with a pencil and darken up this edge. That way when you put them together, it's kind of hard to see if you end up with a bit of a caulking line between them. It'll stand out a little bit more once you sand. Another way you can do it, and I tried it here, you just do the same thing but with a black sharpie. It gives you a bit more defined caulking. I think I'll go with that one there. This is how deep this is. So do that. Just grab a sharpie. And just go up one edge, not both. Do that to each one of these. And then they can be glued down into that little hatch or deck area. So there's about half the planks in and you can see how the black is a seam line once you get sanded down it'll tone it down a bit but it'll look pretty good it'll get sanded down it'll get stained in there and once that's done i can start working on i believe the transom so i'll get these done and come back when i start working on the transom so that is the deck in place that is the end of chapters two and three gun ports, framing gun ports, this deck. Next chapter, chapter four, is worked on the transom, but I'll work on that one next time. In the meantime, thank you for joining me, and enjoy uh, building your models.